everyone. I'm such a fan of moth and myth pieces that I recently got the Monarch set and wanted to create a look based around them. This is what I ended up with. You want to see how it came together? Then keep on watching. Used a glue stick on my brows and put some Telesis Aid F adhesive on some foam latex ears and get them into place. If you're familiar with my videos, you might recognize these from previous makeups. Luckily, the last time I used them, the look had a similar color palette, so I didn't really have to prep them at all. Since these are being reused, the edges aren't that great, so blend it onto my hair using paste from a glue stick, so it'd be easier to get out of my hair. Stipple some latex on the edges of the skin. Using the Bow Buggles Pro Classic Color Palette number two, starting with the peach shade and a sea sponge. Stipple on a quick base and bring it up onto the ears. Back to that same palette, this time with the saffron color and that same sponge. Paint it across the face, concentrating more across the cheek area. Also under the collarbones and avoiding the center of the chest and lightly above the eyes. Putting that same color in an airbrush and softening the areas and adding some under the chin. Followed by taking the light yellow out of the Bow Buggles palette, brighten up the forehead and nose bridge. Spraying a thin line at the top of the cheeks, this will give them a sharper appearance. Even painted the high points of the ears. After that, do a spatter of light yellow and then the saffron color. Back to the light yellow and really amplify those high points. Doing this in a couple coats since it darkens as it dries. With the Bow Buggles Rose Color out of the Classic Color 2 palette, just put some on the very tip of each ear. Then grab the Rust Red, airbrush the deepest parts of the ears, and created a dramatic contour in the cheek hollows and carving out that jawline. Very lightly contoured the nose and added some to the temples, but not as harsh as the cheeks. Bring that shade up between the eyes and carry the contour from the cheeks all the way to the mouth. Using the Collective Cosmetics Mandala Effect Palette, take the gold 2010 shade and put that right under the light yellow across the cheek. Also on the chin, Cupid's bow, and nose tip followed with Bright from the same Collective Cosmetics palette, blending this above the gold and all the typical highlight points. Also took the Toon shade to brighten up the nose a bit. Taking Black Wolf of X Hydracolor, painted my hairline, carved out my jawline, and added it to the outer parts of the neck. This will make it easier to not have to airbrush these spaces so much. Now with the airbrush and Skin Illustrator Black, blend the black wolf areas and start creating blotches and spots, getting smaller as they go out. Did some light small ones across the nose and then onto the neck and the outer edges of the body, gradually building up the area. Next, taking the Collective Cosmetics Tune Color, shade above the eye area and softly blend. Painted shapes around the eyes with Black Skin Illustrator. Even creating larger version on the neck. Also on the neck, I made the lines much thicker. Taking NYX Professional Makeup White Liquid Liner at different spots in the black that we just painted. Just a little of the Collective Cosmetics Bright Color in the corners and back to the Mandala Effect palette, apply Screaming onto the outer portions of the shapes. I used a wet brush for this to keep the black lines sharp. Then blend it into more of the Tune shade. Under the eyes, I started with the darker Screaming shade and then down to the Tune color. On the lid and a bit above, added the Collective Cosmetics 2010 Gold color using the Black Skin Illustrator again to carry the line detail over the lid. With the Collective Cosmetics, take the quiet color and blend under the lower lash line. Don't forget to throw in a couple white spots in the new black lines. Now for the glitter. Started with ColourPop Cosmetics Glitterly Obsessed Trippin' on Skies. 
added it to the head and neck. I tried to be clean about this and use a paddle, but that didn't last very long and just got in there with my hands. Press the little ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed and keep it platonic on the eyelids. Glued on a few iridescent rhinestones. Then filled in my lips with NYX Professional Makeup Liquid Suede and Alien. Extending the outer corners of the lips for some drama. Attach some of the Moth and Myth Monarchs using a little tape. Final touch with some yellow screen lenses from Camo Eyes. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time.